Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a full face of Laura Geller. That's right, we're going to be Geller Gal. So if you want to see what products I used, just keep watching. This is the Spackle. Now they have a few different kinds. This one is Hydrate Moisture. I can't read. I'm pretending. Like what? I got contacts. <laughs> Moisturizes and replenishes. Okay, so I was partly right. I see a silicone kind of word in there. So <laughs> dimethicone is a silicone, so I should like this, right? Ooh, I also see like aloe vera juice. Hmm. All right, well, I don't want to look all that up. <laughs> Dart in the middle of my face. And put that on. Feels good. Okay, so the camera light was off and I didn't know it, so I don't know how much you heard me say. But um, all of this is made possible today because of um, Susan Reedy, who told me that Laura Geller was having this sale and I picked up all of this stuff in it. But it looks like I did not pick up a bronzer. So also, Susan sent me this. Uh, you guys might remember a while back I told you I wasn't using my Filmstar Bronze and Glow because, like, I rate that as one of my top bronzers. Actually, my top two are both from Charlotte, but let's talk about Charlotte in the middle of a Laura Keller video. <laughs> Seriously, though, um, I don't use my Filmstar Bronze and Glow because Mel bought it for me, and I've told you that before. I don't want to pan it. It would make me sad. I just want to always be able to have it. And anyway, so Susan had this unopened from something she got from Beautylish. And we'll use it today because I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it. I love this little brush that came with it. You know, I've always not really wanted to pick up that brush from Charlotte, but I don't know if this is because it's a mini, just fits right there in my hand, or if it's actually this unyielding point. Okay, because I've got brushes shaped like this, but they are more floppy than this. So this really does let you kind of carve and sculpt out. So I like that. We'll use that since I didn't get a bronzer from her, but I did pick up another blush and I say another because I've actually had Laura Geller stuff before. I think I had a bronzer and two blushes from her that I got rid of because I heard this nasty rumor that it was going out of business. It just seems really mean to use stuff that you can't buy on camera. But anyway, I really like her compacts. They have this see-through window on them and on the inside there is a little mirror that is big enough that you can kind of do a, you know, one of these numbers. So now we have a primer, the foundation, this. Camera was off, I think you didn't see me show you the mascara and it's wand, so loving that look. Also, because the camera was off, you didn't hear me talk about the foundation, which is this a hero product for Laura Geller? This foundation is why we're doing this whole video, <laughs> because this foundation was recommended by you guys, so many of you guys. And so, yeah, I was talking about it. Who knows what I said, but it's this. We're doing this. Also, I picked up this five pack. This should be interesting of these eyeliners in here. So we're going to have to choose a color. Which one will it be? I just, I don't know. We will try a couple of them. Uh, we have a brow pencil. This is the second in my collection, I think, that is not retractable, but actually a sharpened pencil. Uh, this spoolie is a little bit littler, so maybe we can actually, you know, get in to the front as well as through the brow without messing things up too bad. And lastly, this interesting lipstick, okay? I got it in Al Fresco. It's marbleized. It doesn't have a magnet. It's a rather loose closure. So definitely wouldn't take this with me. Just looking at what's in front of me, I'm going to guess that Laura Geller is a line that makes you look natural. Not all eye pencils are made the same. They don't sometimes even go in the waterline. Well, this one did. But I don't know if it's going to stay, but it did go in. It's got a nice little tip on it. So I'm not poking myself in the eye. That's thoughtful. I don't really know why I just did that. I guess we're not going to use one of the other colors. <laughs> okay. 
seems pretty creamy. I'm impressed that it even went in the water line. Let's take the amethyst one, okay, and put it on the upper lid right here in the lash line. And under here, see how it smudges. Not bad. Gives me a much uh, smokier <laughs> look than I actually wanted to do today, but oh well. It's okay. There's a little bit of rocky road over here. So let's see how that goes. It skips right over it. So that's good. That good. By the time we finish my makeup, if the eyeliner is still in the waterline, that's better than most. Because <laughs> most of them are out. By the time I finish my makeup, I have to redo it before I walk out the door. So we'll just see if it's still there or not. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I'm just going to tell you, I'm, I'm a little afraid. I'm afraid that I won't like it, and so many of you do. And Well, you're going to know if I don't, because I won't be able to keep my dang mouth shut. <laughs> All right, first let's try a brush like I normally would do. Then we're gonna take a puff, okay? And we'll see how much more it builds on this side. I think I'll bring that on my nose first and see what happens. Oh, this is barely there. Okay. I mean, that's really barely there. It's definitely not as full coverage as the Patrick Star, is it? Okay, let's see if how much it builds with a puff over here. All right, that does, you can build that up much more uh, with my other ones. I don't usually come right up underneath my eye. So keep that in mind if I look a little crepey there after doing that. I don't normally do that. I don't know, maybe I should put a concealer on. But that gives, ooh, that's really pretty. That gives a, uh, a nice luminosity to the skin. I feel like if you have good skin, you'll like this. It makes it look better. I feel like I need to put something under there though. So I'm gonna grab my Sigma, which I've hit pan on because I feel like it's too dark. I'm just a little leery to get that much of that foundation under here. But, I mean, maybe I should. Maybe I should set this with that and see what happens. Let's see how dry that makes that look under there. If it does, it will be the powder, not this, because that just doesn't. I don't really need to do that. <laughs> you guys can see my cheekbones without me doing that, but... It's YouTube. <laughs> Let's all do the same thing to our face. <laughs> all right. Let's see how pretty this looks. <laughs> I got a feeling it's going to look really pretty. Whew. That didn't look like it had. When I swatched this stuff, it didn't look like I had a lot of color there. But. See, that picked up a little bit. A little bit. My daddy used to call my sister a little bit. A little bit. My daddy had a nickname for me too. It was Annie Oakley. That's pretty. I want to bring a little bit over the rest of my face, actually. Just give me a little more color. Hmm. And let's see what this lipstick does. If you do one pass, it's kind of more like a tinted balm. That's nice. All right, let us do the mascara. You know, I'm excited for it. We'll do the brows last, which, you know, if you have problems with your brows, I was just having this convo with somebody. Doing your brows first is the best way to go because that way, if you mess up your brows, then you can just wipe them off and start over and then finish your makeup when you're satisfied that your brows look good not at the end when you're got everything else done. All right, let's see 
how this mascara does. Okay, it does get a little tiny bit because this wand is so big and I'm careless. You're gonna have to be careful not to get it on your lid because as you can see, I've got a little bit on my lid. But, I don't know, it looks pretty. Just be careful. This has got a lot of mascara on it. I mean, it loaded a lot on there the first time. So, I don't know. It could be one of these mascaras that, over time, it just pulls out too much. I don't know, because this is my first time using it. Yeah, it's already starting to to clump lashes together because there's so much mascara on here and it does got a decent pull off stopper so it just lacks this brush I guess make sure you wipe it off before you go in you don't need much see how it's clumping there right off so be careful let's see how it builds on itself I notice that my tight line is starting to lose that blue that's in there, but it seems to be holding in the waterline. I think that's pretty decent to keep in mind also though. It's going to look pretty phenomenal just because of the lack of all the eyeshadow I normally wear. If you ever want your lashes to look really good, don't put on eyeshadow <laughs> or very little of it. Let's see about this. Pencil. I don't know if it's going to be the right shade or not, but uh, we will just be talking about the performance of it because I think I went too light. It's creamy. We have to push quite a bit. I, I don't like this formula. No, this won't make it into my favorite eyebrow pencils for sure. But, you know, the shade isn't as bad as I thought. I think this is taupe. I thought this was going to be way too light, but it's not. So for my purposes, it's just okay. But if what you do is just come through your own natural hairs and you don't have to draw hairs on in the front, which granted, it doesn't look horrible. I just don't like the way it feels when I push on the pencil. Okay. Um, but, you know, it really doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. I just am not in love with the way it works, you know, here on the front. Let's try this side. Maybe it just needed a little warming up. No, see, I, I just, I don't like how it's delivering product to the very front of my brows. But it's not as light as I thought. And it does actually, like, work through hair pretty well. Okay, I'm back and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here. I like this, <laughs> actually, on my lid, the powder, the powder foundation. I really like that, like this. I'm just taking my finger because I wanted to lighten it up some more, so I took my finger to do it, but I really like that. I think that looks pretty as an eyeshadow, too. <laughs> right? Because it's a little brightening so putting it on like that really brightens up my lid as you can see it's all about precision today <laughs> so the overall look is way smokier than i wanted because i tried out two different eyeliners i mean it's the same eyeliner just different colors and it's been a little bit of time now so let's see the blue actually is still down in the waterline and we can all see that the purple is there, okay? Because we look really smoky. I don't think it looks too bad underneath my eyes over the top of a concealer. Looking at my eyes, the thing that sticks out is the brow pencil. I don't like this. I wouldn't like this in another shade. And you know that the reason is because, if you watched, you heard me saying, I don't like how it pushes in the front. But if you have just hair that you're coming through, to just kind of polish it up a little bit. It's not a bad product for that. The color's not as bad as I thought. It's taupe. So I, I really thought that that was going to be too light, but it worked out pretty well, so I do like that. But for me, I won't reach for this pencil 
after today. The eyeliners, even though right now they're still there, I predict in another hour they will have left the building completely because I'm starting to lose it out here on the outside, which is where I always do. That said, there's a lot of eyeliners that this happens to me on, so that just makes these eyeliners no different than an okay eyeliner for me. The colors are pretty, um, but yeah, I probably won't reach for these either. And the lipstick, even though I think it looks really pretty, but it's a real sheer coverage. If you look close enough, you'll see that you can see the dark spot on my mouth. And if I put on a lipstick, that's what I'm looking to cover is that spot, okay? Uh, however, that said, if you aren't covering up a spot, and you want something that feels really nourishing and gives just a little bit of, I think she has on some lipstick. This lipstick may be for you. It comes in several shades, but it's, you know, it's pretty sheer. It feels great though. There are a lot of you out there who would appreciate this lipstick. The mascara is really pretty. The lashes feel soft not you know really stiff or anything like that but i do have some flaking underneath my eyes on this mascara so it's a little messier than i like i did get it on my lid i have other mascaras that will yield a really pretty lash without getting this messy so i'll use it while it's open but i won't buy this mascara anymore and that brings us to the face products I've never had a problem with these. These blushes are fantastic. Laura Geller knows how to do a blush and a bronzer. I'm just sorry that I didn't realize I didn't have a bronzer in the cart, but you know, I've had it before and I really, really enjoyed it. So this blush is just really, really pretty and I really highly recommend Laura Geller blushes. And just like the blush, these two products here I really like. I can see me using this over and over again under different foundations. I like the way it feels. It's hydrating, moisturizing, and yet it does have that stick that you need. And I thought that the foundation spread very nicely over it. It didn't hang up anywhere. And this, this is my new, I don't want anyone to know I even have any makeup on, makeup, for crying out loud. I don't have another powder foundation that you can put on and it just makes your skin look better but people don't really realize that you have anything on your skin in the truest sense of the look this is the no makeup makeup look this stuff's called baked balance and brighten and i would agree that that's the most excellent whoever marketed that that's the most excellent thing you could call this it is a color correcting powder foundation that truly is undetectable this looks exactly like my skin it doesn't look like I have on. Like the Patrick that I just did for you guys, that looked like I had on a foundation. You might not know if it was powder or liquid, but it did look like I had on a foundation. And the one I love so much from MAC, it's almost this, okay? But you can still tell that I have something on my skin. I don't think it looks like I have anything on my skin. I think it just balanced and brightened up my skin. And so, yeah, that's a really good name for this stuff. All right, then. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you also know you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, the way you get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. Oh, and Susie. So this is the... Yep. Ugh. Ow, gosh darn it. Now I'll be seeing stars for like a week. <laughs> oh, that's so much clearer now. I can see clearly now the glasses are on. Do -da, do -da, do -da. I can see all obstacles in my way. Apparently not, but haha, -ha, you can't hit my eye now. Uh, I stole this from my husband because I'm being sure I don't. It's like there's a light on there too. <laughs> really helps. Who uses makeup on camera? <laughs> That you can't get. <laughs> I got this and you don't. <laughs> I don't know how you say her name. Reedy? It looks like Reedy or is it Reddy? Cause she is woman, hear her roar. The number's too big to ignore. <laughs> Who's off key? <laughs> I didn't pick up any eyeshadow. Poor baby doesn't have any eyeshadow. I don't have any eyeshadow. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> All right.
And as Annie Oakley, I would get on the CB radio and be like, break one nine. Hey, double eight ball, you out there? You got your ears on? What's your 20? <laughs> Bring it on home, daddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in love. I'm not in love. So don't forget it. You need to make it better for my fronts. Da -da 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 -da.